Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after a couple of days off last week, Microsoft is back this week and has rolled out new builds for the Windows 11 insiders. Now as I did post on a short while ago today, the first was Windows 11 Dev Build 25252, which included a new VPN indicator for the system tray and also Microsoft is testing some new search styles for the taskbar search. Now over and above that, Microsoft is also rolling out a pair of builds to the insiders in the beta channel which include now the first build 2261.1020 and the second build 2263.1020 and those were offered with the update KB5020035. Now this week there's actually not too much really of interest rolling out in the beta channel. There are a couple of new improvements so if you are interested just to make quick mention for you today in this video. Now in build 2263 um, it includes support now for new braille displays and new braille input and output languages in Narrator. Microsoft says that some of the new braille displays now include support for the APH Chameleon, the APH Mantis Q40 and the NLS e-reader and many more. So support for new braille displays in Narrator in build 2263.1020. Now both beta channel builds for this week have um, received a couple of new improvements and there are four worth mentioning for you today in this video. Now currently in the stable version of Windows 11 version 22H2, if we head over to the settings app personalization background page, as many of you will know, currently you can enable the Windows Spotlight for desktop from this page. Now in those beta channel builds for this week, Microsoft has now, um, if we head over to the themes page, has now combined the Windows Spotlight with themes on the personalization page in the settings app, which they say makes it easier to discover and turn on Windows uh, the Windows Spotlight feature and if this does roll out to an up and coming stable version I think that would be a nice move in the right direction. And then there are two new improvements for Microsoft OneDrive. The first is if we head over to the accounts page in the settings app. As many of you may know in the stable version you can manage your OneDrive from the accounts page in the settings. Now uh, in those beta channel builds they have provided the full amount of storage capacity for all your different Microsoft OneDrive subscriptions so and that's an improvement for OneDrive and then the second improvement rolling out for OneDrive is on the um, system page in the settings app. Now um, according to Microsoft um, there are alerts, uh, alerts now that appear when you are close to your storage limit and you can also manage your storage and purchase additional storage now in those beta channel builds from your OneDrive on the system page in the settings app and then I'm just going to mention the fourth improvement they've added uh, the organizational messages feature and with it third-party companies could provide content to the employees now I'm not actually too sure exactly what that entails so um, nonetheless Microsoft has mentioned that in the release notes and then just one thing to take into consideration with the beta channel Microsoft says the beta channel will be the place where they preview experiences that are closer to what they will ship to their general customers. And because the dev and beta channels represent parallel dev development paths, they mentioned there may be cases where features and experiences show up in the beta channel first, which they have uh, been known to do uh, in the past. Um, they say this does not mean though that every feature they try out in the beta channel will ship. So always just keep um, and take that and take note of that and keep that in consideration. So that's it for this week. Uh, two new beta channel builds build 2261.1020 and 2263.1020 and I will leave the release notes in the description if in case you would like to look up a little bit more in depth on the different fixes and the known issues that Microsoft um, has mentioned in those release notes. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.